Sup everybody, this is Dark Slayer Ream from Houtessia Gaming. Um, for today's episode of Path to Mastery, we're going to address one pivotal thing that everyone in any sort of competitive thing ever has thought of. How to improve yourself. One of the biggest things, first off, is that you need to recognize your need to improve. Um, tell me if this sounds familiar to you. Someone just lost to like, say, I don't know, for, for example, I'm just going to use like Sheik as an example. You lost because you got killed by Vanish. And then afterwards it was just like, man, Sheik's Vanish is BS. Stuff like this doesn't really help you because it doesn't help you recognize your need to improve. A better thing to say after something like that would be like, man, I really need to learn how to deal with Sheik's Vanish, as opposed to just saying Sheik's Vanish is BS. The reason why is because saying that the move is unfair or something like that, it doesn't really you don't really recognize that you need to learn how to deal with it because by saying that the move is unfair you subconsciously tell yourself that you can't learn to deal with it so you don't try but by recognizing that you need to improve you can start improving you need to know how to accept your losses acknowledge your flaws and acknowledge when someone is better than you a lot of times when you lose to someone in a tournament, you did not lose because the character they were playing was just so stupidly broken and there was nothing you could do. You lost because they were a better player than you, and you've got to learn to accept that. Otherwise, you will not be able to improve because you won't see any need to. If you start thinking, if you think, I should have won that, but they got lucky, you don't think what I did, I need to stop doing. You think, what I did would have worked, but they just got lucky. Another thing that is really useful for improving and helping you to improve is recognizing your improvement. Look at where you were when you first started. See where you are now. If you've been doing it for a good bit of time, you're most likely not the same you were when you started. You know more, and if you go to tournaments, you're doing better. Also, on this same note, some people might think, man, this is the fourth tournament that I've gone to, that I've gone O2 at. That's not necessarily because you're not improving. You have to remember, the world does not freeze and wait for you to catch up. While you're improving, so is everyone else. You gotta recognize that, yeah, if you're, especially if you're fighting the same people, they're getting better too. While you're learning to adapt to them, they're learning to adapt to you too. So just because you're losing to people who are already better than you, that does not mean you're not improving. Me personally, whenever I am starting to think I'm, you know, not doing well. I just play a bunch of matches against a bunch of different people. And that's when I start to notice, like, oh, I have improved. Or I'll go back and watch some of my old replays. If I'm able to notice, oh, wow, I see, like, so many different openings in my opponent. I see so many flaws in my movement. I see so many things that I've improved upon. You also, you gotta look at your rivals and look at rivals that you caught up to. Say there's someone who, before, they would beat you 8 out of 10 times, but now when you play them, you're going even with them. That shows improvement. And most importantly, you have to acknowledge that it takes time. It will take time for you to improve. You're not going to do it overnight. Everyone who has ever gotten in anything competitive probably has a reason why they want to do it. you got to figure out what do I want? What is my goal? 
For some people, it's to be at the top of the world. For others, it's just because they want to be able to have fun. Me personally, my goal is to be able to get to the point where I can win a regional. That is my goal. If I ever achieve that goal, I'm probably going to set a new goal and just keep building up. For others, they want to be the best in the world. But that type of stuff takes time. Zero. Zero is probably the undisputed best Smash 4 player in the world. But he's been playing Smash for a decade. He played Smash for almost a decade before he was able to say that he was the best in the world. A decade. A decade uh, filled with him getting O2'd. Parts where he was losing, parts where he was getting defeated, parts where he was getting styled on. But he did not get up, give up, he didn't give up, he kept pushing forward, and he was able to achieve his goal. And he didn't get to his point and just say, oh, well, I guess I'm done now. No. He still continues to push himself, along with every other top player out there that consistently and continuing to push themselves. And almost every top player will tell you complaining about something won't help you overcome it complaining that man this move is hard to get around learn to get around it <laughs> that's pretty much what they'll all tell you you can either complain and be one of the people complaining and not winning or you can be one of the people who goes okay this is what I need to work on, and then go work on it. That's what I wanted to talk about today. This is Dark Slayer Ream from Hotessia Gaming. Thank you very much for watching.